Hello and welcome back to a proper Space Engineers showcase video and I'm once again doing a showcase request and if you wish to see something of yours shown on this channel just leave me a link somewhere and I'll eventually get round to it. But for today I was given a rather wide variety of ships to choose from and I chose out of that selection this one the Whiteout Interplanetary Weapons Platform which is this thing right here. So it's a medium sized ship with all the guns you need to lock down an entire area. It can just blast everything around you and annihilate it in seconds. It contains a bunch of different modded items but it's mainly using vanilla blocks for its aesthetics. So let's press F10 and find the interplanetary. There it is, the interplanetary weapons platform. When it eventually loads in there is a screenshot, the text might appear one day, there it is. This ship weighs in at 8,650 small blocks and it uses a few mods which are for different types of armoured blocks and modded thrusters. So with that all done and out the way we shall take a look around the outside, have a little fly around and then blast the poor little platform over there with its weapons. Oh yes I did clean up the mess I caused last time ramming the other ship into the platform and we'll do it again. So at the very front here we've got four fighter cockpits, one of them is for controlling the ship and the three others are for your passengers which can, if you set it up, control all those turrets going around the ship. At the front here where the cockpits come to their point we have got some Gatling guns, three on both sides and on the side of the cockpits we have got two Gatling turrets on each, they just sit on the side like that. We've got some lovely block work covering up the cockpits and some good use of the block skin. So we've got the digital camouflage going on there and we can see this is using the clean skin. I thought it was the carbon fiber for a minute. No, it is the clean skin. Then they all come around and join together at that point there where we have even more turrets. And if we start to come around the side here, we come to our first thruster pod. We do have some thrusters on the main body, but our main thrust will be coming from these two side pods. So at the front here we've got some hydrogen thrusters, we've got some atmospheric and we've got two ion thrusters. We've got four rocket launchers in there and we've got four more Gatling guns just to blast more enemies with. Then if we come around the side there, there's not too much to talk about. Just got all the thrusters sticking out of the side, we've got some good use of these skins. So we've got a black rim going around the front and the back. Then got some more thrusters sticking out there which have been housed very well, like so. And those other modded blocks which are covering it up. We just keep moving along to here. We've got some more ion, more atmospheric. Then we come around to the back. So on the back here we do not have any guns. They'll be replaced with some more hydrogen thrusters and some more atmospherics. Then we can pull away here and come to this little fancy decorative part at the back. Which is just like a little X. Which are like fins on the back of your ship. They just sit like that and are attached via some blocks like so. If I just come all the way around, there we are to the back, they're just simply there for decoration like I said. And then this is the back of the ship, we don't have any thrusters, it's very weird to look at it like this. No thrusters to push you forwards, they're all coming from these side pods there and they do look like proper spaceship engines from a distance. Let's now just come around to here and go through the middle of the body over to this part here. Now this little block here is the antenna and that is the only, only functional block we can see going through the middle. The rest of it is a decoration and we've got those little fins there going all the way across just bridging over those two parts. I mean if you really wanted to you could just slice this straight down the middle and just have two separate ships. If I just come through here I don't think there's anything important really that's coming through. It's just a bunch of gyroscopes. We've got the antenna of course going through there, we've got a bit of a hydrogen thing but you could just slice through the dead middle there and have two little ships. I might try that a bit later on. But anyway as we come up and above we've got some more turrets. So we've got some Gatling turrets, we've got two rocket turrets and even more thrusters to help us on the up and the down. So we've got some more hydrogen, we've got some more ion thrusters. Then we just come all the way down underneath and we have the Similar story basically, where we just got the hydrogen thrusters underneath, no ions there, but we do have two more rocket turrets, and as we come underneath the main cockpit, we've got some more ion, more hydrogen, and two little connectors 
to connect yourself up to a base or maybe a smaller ship to refuel this one. And that's about covers it. It does look fantastic, doesn't it? It's a very unique design. I don't think I've seen anything like this on the workshop. But now it's time for me to get into my character and we can take a little looky at what this thing can do. So the cockpit in the front has nothing and we cannot control it. Cockpit over here has nothing. We cannot control it. At the back here, we cannot control it. So these three cockpits, you can, if you really wanted to, just take control of a turret and blast your enemies like so. But to control it, we have to come into this cockpit on this side. This is our main flying one. We've got two options. Now, brace your ears for the second one because they do get very loud. Number one, all the Gatling guns fire. There's a lot of Gatling guns on this thing. It's not too bad. At least it's not tons and tons of rockets. But now that I've said that, brace your ears, the MWI static cannon. Oof. Very satisfying sound. And they sort of spread out. If you can see there, if I just zoom in a little bit, maybe go first person, when you fire it... Oh, it didn't get any sound there. They sort of spread out. So it looks like you're going to do maximum destruction if you sit at the furthest possible range and let those missiles scatter out and hit as much as possible. Now, because there's not too much else to talk about on this ship, there's simply going to be a thruster test and then it'll be destroying that poor little outpost. Let's just go through what it has in the control panel. So of course we've got our modded weapons, which is the static cannon 30 millimeter. We then have the azimuth fusion reactor, which is powering this. A bunch of batteries in there, some cockpits, all the Gatling guns, the Gatling turrets, plenty of gyroscopes on this thing. Good Lord, how many do you need? Wow, okay. Hydrogen tanks, jump drives, which I didn't see the jump drives on this, did you? Then we've got some large atmospheric thrusters, the large hydrogen thrusters, large ion thrusters, I believe these ones are. And then we come to the missile turrets, O2, small atmospheric thrusters, small batteries, small hydrogen. That is that, but where is the jump drive hidden away? Is it inside here? Does that mean, oh, there it is. I saw it. Yes, it's kind of hard for me to get a decent camera in here but I did see the jump drive sitting inside the little wing. So once again, there we go. Oh, the missiles hit into each other, how odd. So we could, if we wanted to, find the uh, jump drive, like so, and go for a 10,000 kilometer jump away from this station. So if you wanted to, you could flesh out this little bar a bit further, because we do have a few things we could put on here, like the batteries, so to recharge or to discharge, so we can do that. Then we come down to maybe have something to do with the gyroscope, something to do with the thrusters, controls over the missile turrets, and all that. So now it's time to take this for a thruster test. Going forwards, we have one hell of a lot of speed, and stopping is almost instant. That is beyond, beyond anything I've seen in this game. Then we could go left. Fairly fast, but not as fast. And it just stops instantly. That's amazing. I know these are modded thrusters, but wow, look at that. Then we can reverse and stop. That is fantastic. Going down. Going up. Damn, that's fast. And then wiggling my mouse around. Despite having that many gyroscopes on here, it still has some weight to it. But yes. It's a very responsive ship, very well balanced, and it has one hell of a lot of speed. So for a interplanetary weapons platform, it's more like a assault fighter. So we can just blast the platform over there with all the Gatling guns. Likely Gatling guns don't do too much damage, actually. They really don't. Then we can just come over to this and fire the static cannon into the base. I swear I saw one of them ricochet, but let's fire it again. There we go. And let's see what type of damage have we done to the station. Not that much, actually. Considering how many guns are on there, it doesn't really look that damaged. Nothing you can't just go around and polish a little bit to get it all back. But look at all the bullets everywhere on this. Wow, okay. So the next thing I can think of doing is testing out the actual turrets on this and then we'll just crash it into the station. So I'm just going to give this 
to the pirates. So let's just go and give absolutely everything to the space pirates. Fun fact, if you're using the new... Oh god, we're actually blowing ourselves up because of the turrets. Fun fact, if you're doing the new survival mode with the economy stuff and all that, I have become friends with the space pirates. They are no longer hostile to me because I've killed so many damn spiders that I've increased my reputation with them. It's quite an odd thing to see a transport go by and have them be friendly. But anyway, these are the turrets firing. As you saw there, there was a misfire with the rockets that shot into the back of the Gatling turrets at the front there. Oof. We can just keep firing into it and mow this thing down. There we go once again. I will just check. If I just back away like this. Oop, there we go again. If I start to spin. No. We cannot hit ourselves with those rockets. But those turrets on the back there are a real big problem. But anyway, it's a fantastic design and a great little fighter if you wish to download and play around with a modded ship. It even has a fantastic design that you could use yourself and build off it to build something even more fancier. So now let's do one thing before I crash. I'm going to split this in half. There we go. Let's just get rid of all that. We don't need no gyroscopes there or the antenna. So that's now split. Then we can split this at the back there. Whew. There we go. We have now got two separate ships to ram into the station. There we go. We can just fly away here. We cannot go right, unfortunately, although we can go a little bit right. Although, there we go. We have to be very careful here. Because we are now losing one side of our thrusters. But that's not going to stop us. We can still just go straight into this. Ramming speed. Wow. Not much actually happened there. That was very disappointing. But now I've got to go back and find the other part of this ship. Ooh. My space pirate reputation. Oh no. Ah. My reputation keeps dropping. Let me just teleport here and take control of myself. Oof. Those rockets do just keep hitting into me. Very annoying, but we can. There we go. We can just bombard them with them. And then we'll go for a proper ram full speed. And then we can blast them from the interior. Just gonna mine our way through the station. In fact, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Anyway. That is it for the White House Interplanetary Weapons Platform. It's a fantastic design if you wish to download and play around with it yourself. Remember, it does use modded items, and you may need to adjust those rocket turrets at the top there to prevent it from damaging yourself. So anyway, it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with this yourself, and I'll be back with another showcase video on Monday. Bye-bye.